Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, today I'm going to paint up this urban base for you. Uh, I'm going to do a little tutorial now. This is the first tutorial I've made with the new camera, so a um, bit of a tester really I suppose. Um, but yeah, I'm going to paint this up um, in like an urban uh, like city fight type uh, base. Um, I'm also painting up some others as well, but I'm just going to show you me painting this one up. So first of all I went in and I gave it a prime uh, with some grey primer. Now that was just um, a really cheap uh, primer that I got from my local craft shop, so nothing too special. Any grey will do, just like a neutral grey colour is fine. Um, and then the first step is going to be to give this um, a nice heavy wash with null and oil. Um, so I'm going to do that now. Now as you can see this particular base I've also stuck um, on there a little chaos uh, head. So I'll be painting that up separately as well. But I'm going to show you how I do the actual uh, like urban side of it as such um, with all the rocks and stones. So I'm going to go through uh, the whole of the base with this wash. Now I say heavy wash, I do want it to be quite heavy. Um, it doesn't really matter too much if it pulls here and there, uh, i.e. gives you like this big bubble effect, that's going to be absolutely fine. So uh, yeah, just give it a heavy wash and then uh, put it to one side and let it thoroughly dry, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to continue on painting up the other bases that I've got, uh, but for now, for this um, tutorial, I'm going to pause it and um, I'll be back when they're all dry. Okay, so that's them fully dry, so let's continue on. So they're looking pretty decent um, already, but of course we're going to take them uh, a few steps further. So next I'm going to do some dry brushing. So I'm going to dry brush uh, with black first of all. So I've um, got my dry brush here, just going to put some black on it, take that off on a cloth. and. Um, Basically, I'm just going to go over the whole thing with a sort of a, a medium strength dry brush, really, uh, just to darken down those stones. Uh, just going to do that on this one. And again, I'm going to paint all of the bases, but I'll only show you me doing it with this particular base. So I'm just going to go around the edges of that as well. Let's get some more paint there. I'm going to build up the um, the different layers with several dry brushes. Okay, so that's the next stage there done. I'm going to do that now with the, the rest of the bases and then I'll uh, come back. Okay, so uh, that's the dry brush down of black. So let's just put these aside for now. So back to this base. And uh, next I'm going to go in with some grey and again it's going to be a dry brush uh, but not quite so heavy this dry brush. I'm going to go in a little bit lighter so just going to get some uh, paint on my brush. Okay so I'm basically just going to uh, dry brush this over. Now the thing to bear in mind when you are doing this especially if you've got some big flat areas is uh, not to just uh, dry brush in exactly the same direction. So then mix up your strokes of your your brush so you don't get any like lines um, like going on, on it so it just gives you a little bit more of a, a natural sort of look so I just go around the edge okay so that's that uh, coat so I shall do that on all the other bases and I'll uh, come back for the next stage Okay, so that's that piece done. Uh, so next, uh, let's get that base here. So next I'm gonna go in with another dry brush. Uh, this time pure white, and I'm gonna go over with this very, very lightly, so real light dry brush. I'm just gonna get the paint on my brush. Okay, so we're gonna be looking now to um, just hit those edges, and as I said, we're just gonna go in quite light Just picking up any of those extreme edges. Okay, like that. Okay, I'm going to do that now for the uh, rest of them. 
Okay, so that's that section uh, done. Right, next um, we're going to go back in with some Nullen oil. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to put the, the oil um, only in all of the little recesses. So I'm just going to basically blacken in all those recesses. And also these areas around here where I've got like this uh, sand effect, like soil effect. So what we want to do is basically don't put the wash on the actual rocks themselves. Uh, just in all the recesses. Now I'm using a much smaller brush this time uh, so that I can get a lot more accurate. Now if you do just go over um, onto the um, the actual like rocks um, and then just wipe the, the um, excess away um, and then that'll be fine and just rub it off basically. So get into all of those little cracks um, into any bullet holes if you've got bullet holes on there. So like I've just got that bit on that rock and I just spread that out and that's fine. Once that dries off that'll be fine. I'm going to go into that little corner there. And around that helmet. Okay, and then finally just go around the edge. Oh, it's not focusing. I wasn't in the middle. There is a small chance that the hold of that clip may be out of focus, but oh well. Okay, right, so that's that bit done. So I'm going to do that for the rest of the bases, uh, let them dry, and we'll come back with the next stage. Okay, so that's uh, all dried, and it's fair to say that arguably you could say that those bases are finished. Um, now, I am going to do some extra stuff on mine because my uh, 13th Company Army um, are really sort of um, battle damaged and I'd like the bases to be weathered up a bit as well. So I am going to take mine uh, the next stage, but uh, in reality you could say that that's, that's done. You know, just paint up the Space Marine head on there um, and job done. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go a bit further. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to carry on with some more dry brushing. Uh, but this time I'm going to go in with a scorched brown um, or the new paint which is called uh, Rhinox Hide. There you go. So let's just get some of that out. Okay, so I'm going to put some on my brush. What I'm going to be looking to do is I'm going to be looking to dry brush this brown around the areas where all of the cracks and grooves and bit of holes and stuff are um, effectively just weathering down those areas. Let's get some more. And if you gain, if you go a bit heavy, just just rub it off a bit. Now, obviously, doing this is going to take away some of that. Um, sort of extreme highlighting that we did, like for example on the, the white. Um, but I'm not going to do it over the whole of the base, just sort of some selected areas. So you still will be able to see that um, highlight. Okay. So that's that. I'm just going to uh, go over the rest of the bases and I'll come back with the next stage. Okay, so that's that done. So uh, the next and final stage is going to be to go in with um, just a dry brush of black. Uh, but we're going to go in with a smaller brush and uh, this time we're going to try and keep sort of on the inside of that brown that we've just put in just to give that like weathering a little bit of depth. So uh, just going to go over this base here and do that so it gives it a bit more like a two tone to the weathering, almost looks like a burn marks. Okay, 
there you go so that is done all I've got to do is uh, obviously paint up the small details uh, that are on the bases and then of course go around the edge I'll be going around mine with black uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up here, I'll paint all the details up and then um, I'll put a couple of still pictures of the bases finished at the end of the video for you. Okay, that's it for this video. I uh, really hope you enjoyed the little tutorial. Thanks for watching as always and I'll see you in the next upload.